Oh, there you are. Well, have you remembered what you forgot? Any bells ringing? Something about Grandfather Tree, perhaps? Don't you think it's about time someone went and checked on Bartleby? Well, don't look at me. You're the one who attended Ravenwood. Oh, and Scholar Xander wants a word before you go. Probably to share his latest theory about the meaning of life. Go on now. Time is wasting. Hey, mate. Fantastic work in Polaris. You handle that like a real pro. You're still new to the Arcanum, but you're already making waves. Since you stopped Spider's plan with the Sky Anchor, I've been wondering if that might have somehow soothed Bartleby's condition. If you can stop in and pay a visit to the old tree, that'd be a real boon to the whole team here. Have to keep taps on these things, you know. Seeing as how you're such a recent graduate, we're thinking of you as our official envoy to Ravenwood. So there you go. Have a good trip. Oh dear. Judging by his foliage, Bartleby's condition certainly hasn't improved. In fact, he appears to be worse. You should speak to him and find out how he's feeling. And don't forget to use your bedside manners. Oh, hello, wizard. I, I know your name, but somehow it's escaping me right now. That happens more and more often these days. My trunk feels thick and dry. My branches droop and my leaves have lost their healthy glow. I feel poor in body, mind, and spirit. What's happening to me? It seems like there's something I should remember, but it keeps escaping my memory. If I had my other eye, the eye of history, I think it would help, but... I can't even remember what happened to it. Can you ask Merle Ambrose? My favorite Ravenwood alumnus. I understand you've joined the Arcanum. I suspected you might wind up there. Talent such as yours. I wasn't able to say anything, of course. Everything with the Arcanum is always a secret. They prefer it that way. And it does seem wise. The Arcanum's work is crucial, however, especially with the revelation that old Cobb is actually Grandfather Spider. Such disquieting news. I won't pry into your affairs, but please don't be a stranger around here. After all, our younger students need mentors, mentors like you. But you're here about Bartleby, aren't you? His condition has grown worse, isn't it? I just can't fathom why this is happening. Oh, he mentioned the Eye of History. Yes, he has been rather nostalgic lately. Oh, but perhaps the eye could help restore his health, too. Of course, we both know that it was Malister who stole Bartleby's eye, but we never learnt what he did with it, did we? Oh, an oversight, to be sure. I suggest you go to the death school and see Dwargin. Ask if he has any idea where Malister would have hidden it. Wizard. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. 
I often use you as an example to inspire my younger students. You're looking for the eye of history? Oh, I had hoped we'd finally put Malastar to rest, but his story always seems to come back up again. No clues here at the school, but you might try Malastar's house in Dark Cave. I don't think anyone's been in there since, well, a long time. One thing to know. After Sylvia's death, I think he did some remodeling. So, who knows what you might find in there. But, yeah. Good luck! Memories of tragedy and triumph wash over you as you enter the home of your former nemesis. Portraits and keepsakes remind you that this was not just Malastare's house, but Sylvia Drake's as well. You feel an eerie sense of foreboding when you look at the door at the back of the hall. It's probably worth investigating. The back halls of the home have been transformed into a sanctum of undeath. They now smell of corpse candles and a deep, frustrated emptiness. It was into these chambers that Malastare came after Sylvia's death, first in mourning and later in madness. A dark spirit, appointed by the master necromancer to protect his work, still maintains its vigil. You must defeat it to proceed. With the Spectral Guardian defeated, you can now explore deeper into Malastare's Sanctum. Across the room, you see Malastare's desk. Here he sat, feverishly searching old tomes for a way to bring Sylvia back. On the desk, open to the page where Malastare left it, lies what appears to be a journal. You should read it. For clues. As you begin reading the journal, you can almost hear a Malastare's voice. My efforts to resurrect Sylvia have met no success, but I've heard of a mysterious group of scholars called the Cabal. They may know a way. This cabal lives up to its reputation. They communicate through a masked agent who goes only by the initials G and D. Nervous as it makes me to deal with this cabal, they claim to have the answers I seek. What choice do I have? I meet them tonight. In exchange for information, the Cabal demands I give them the Eye of History. They plan to take it to the world of Mirage. I know not why. I am conflicted. I fear what the Cabal's intentions in Mirage may be. But I've come too far to turn back now. I made the exchange. The secret to resurrecting Sylvia lies within an ancient tome known as the Croconomicon. To Crocotopia I go. You close the journal and place it in your backpack. Headmaster Ambrose needs to see this. So it's you, the headmaster's little pet. Been a long time, but I always knew we'd cross paths again. You've grown in power. I have too. My associates now make Ambrose look like a hedge wizard. Perhaps you've heard of the Cabal? They have agents everywhere, even Wizard City. After this, I'll be a full-fledged member. 
See, they detected an intruder here and sent me. That journal's not going anywhere. Neither are you. You've really done it. You think you won here? You have no idea. You crossed the Cabal. Oh yeah, you'll hear from us again. Ooh, Malister's journal. I shudder to think what insanity is expressed within these pages. Nonetheless, I will have to read it. Any clues regarding the Eye of History? The Cabal? I'm not familiar, but they sound dangerous. A shame Duncan has taken up with them. So the Cabal took the Eye to Mirage? That is very troubling. Probably no coincidence that Mirage is one of the world's spider mentioned. You should consult with your friends at the Arcanon. Perhaps they've heard of this uh, cabal. And, of course, you should visit Mirage, too. Before you go, however, see your friend Mallory near the life school. She's very talented, but uh, she seems unhappy. Perhaps you can cheer her up. Well, if it isn't the most heroic celebrity wizard who ever lived. Seriously, you're all anyone talks about around here. I'm kind of sick of it. Ah, come on. You know I'm kidding, right? It's actually great to see you. I'm learning a lot at Ravenwood. But it's not like Polaris. Remember when we charged into the Sky Anchor and faced down the rat? Now that was living. I miss those days. Where are you off to now? Mirage? No way. Promise you'll tell me all about it. Cool. I can't wait. I'll be here. Don't be a stranger. It's about time you returned, Initiate. You were supposed to check on the tree, not climb up in its branches and take a nap. Ione's been waiting to hear your report. I'd get in there right away if I were you. She's not exactly known for her patience. Did I hear Fitzhume say I was impatient? I feel... Surprised. Do you think I lack patience? Never mind. We don't have time for that. What news from Grandfather Tree? He's worse. I see. The Eye of History? Taken to Mirage by the Cabal? Are you certain? Hmm. I feel perplexed. Yes. I think I have heard of this Cabal. A group of dark wizards. Mysterious. You should go to Mirage. Talk to Kizma. Greetings, Initiate. You seek to travel to Mirage. Might I ask why? The Eye of History is there. Hmm, if true, this might explain a great deal. 
You must understand. Mirage is a world of constant change, ever-shifting sands. But the last few years have seen a rash of massive sandstorms. More recently, there was a sandstorm of colossal proportions. During the storm, somehow, the world door in Mirage was lost in the sands. You see, the sands of Mirage are unique. They're more than elements in a desert landscape. They are, quite literally, the sands of time. Thus, the world door is lost, not just in space, but in time as well. I believe, however, I've devised a way to reach it and to restore it. I have not yet pinpointed its exact location in the space-time continuum, but this portal can at least get you in the vicinity. Take the portal, find the lost world door where it is buried, and use this charm to restore it to its proper time and place, then return. You pass through the portal and find yourself in a place unlike any you've seen before. Sand stretches to the horizon in all directions. Kisma said the world door would be close, but possibly buried in the sand. You'll have to search for it. A wanderer appears in the desert, from another time and another world, but with purpose. You seek to restore the world door. It is close, but you must discover the secret of the sands to reach it. The sands hide many secrets, but sometimes they can reveal them as well. Collect sand grains from the sand swirlers and return. Wanderer. Now cast the sand grains into the chasm and see what is revealed. You cast the sand grains into the chasm and a bridge is revealed that will take you across. You sense that the world door is buried somewhere amid the dunes on the other side. But you aren't sure exactly where.
As you reach the top of the dune, you finally see the world door, partially submerged in the sand. Only problem is it's guarded by a genie. With the genie defeated, you can now approach and use Kisma's charm to restore the world door. If the charm worked correctly, the world door should now be restored to its proper time and place. You can use the portal to return to Kisma. You were gone some time. I trust you found the door and the charm worked as expected. Excellent. Now, you can travel to Mirage the proper way. Here is the key to the world door. Start by investigating this recent colossal sandstorm. As you know, Grandfather Spider is likely involved. Search for clues, but be patient and disciplined. The answers will come in time. I suspect they will lead you to the Eye of History as well. Take heed, however. Things in Mirage are often not as they seem, and allegiances shift like the sands. Stay strong, and report back soon. Goodness gracious, if it isn't another intrepid adventurer! How marvelous! Come closer, dear, and let Birdie have a look at you. Oh my! You look simply fabulous! The fashions you wizards wear these days are breathtaking. You bring flair to our humble little world. Oh yes, such a treat. First, the world door reappears, and now all these sophisticated visitors. Oh, the nomad merchants would be thrilled. They would be, if they were here. Oh, but the tragedy. I can't keep up this facade. Who are you fooling, Birdie? Our shame is plain to see. Just look, it's an embarrassment. Caravan is supposed to be a colorful, thriving hub of activity, but instead it's an eyesore. A dead zone. I measured, I drew designs, I planned colors, I even staked out tent locations, but it remains horrifically vacant. Please, you must help us. See the solitary tent down there? It belongs to San Diego, the so-called tired nomad. He claims to be wise. Ask him if anything can be done. 